Narrative Writing for Kids. Part 2. Making a Plan for Your Narrative. Narrative writing tells the events of a story in order. This can be an essay, a biography, or a novel. Authors write narratives to tell their readers a story, to educate, or to entertain them. I have already brainstormed a narrative writing topic about a superhero that saves a city from an evil villain. Now, I will make a plan for my narrative. Planning is what you do before you write your story. This is when you think about what will go on each page before you write. Narratives follow a specific structure that includes characters, setting, conflict, and resolution. I will need to think about these elements before I make a plan for my writing. First, I will think of characters for my narrative. I will need a superhero who saves the city. Hmm, I think I will name my superhero Steve and his superhero name will be Mr. Awesome. I will also need a villain. Hmm, I think I will name my villain Larry and his villain name will be Dr. Ice. That sounds so cool. There may be other characters in my narrative, but these will be my main characters. Next, I will think of a setting for my narrative. My setting will be the city, which I think I will name Megacropolis. That sounds incredible. Then, I will think of a conflict for my narrative. Dr. Ice disguises himself as Larry, the firefighter, to take over the Megacropolis Tower. His evil plan is to freeze the city in a huge block of ice by launching an ice rocket from the top of the tower. Mr. Awesome is also in disguise, but as Steve, the CEO of a company at Megacropolis Tower, he must find a way to stop Dr. Ice from acting out his evil plan. Now, I will think of a resolution for my narrative. Mr. Awesome deactivates the rocket and captures Dr. Ice. The city of Megacropolis is saved. Last, I will need a theme for my narrative. My narrative is about a superhero who saves a city from a villain. So my theme is good versus evil. Now that I have the elements of my narrative, I will put together a plan for my writing. Again, I can use a graphic organizer or a planning sheet to help me organize my thoughts. First, I need to think about all the important things that will happen in my story that I want to write about. Then, I'm going to think about what I should write on each page. As I think about what I'm going to write, I'm going to make a quick sketch in each box of my planning sheet to remind me of my story. The first thing I will write about is Dr. Ice arriving at Megacropolis Tower, disguised as Larry the Firefighter. Then he transforms into Dr. Ice and takes over Megacropolis Tower. Next, Mr. Awesome finds out about the takeover and Dr. Ice's plans to destroy the city with an ice rocket. He rushes to the top of the tower to stop him. Last, Mr. Awesome destroys Dr. Ice's ice rocket and saves the city of Megacropolis. Great! I now have all the elements for my narrative and I have a plan for my writing. Be sure to check out part three where I write an introduction for my narrative. If you like this video, then check out Miss Dorsman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Ms. Dorisman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.